What is going on everybody? We're back again today and uh, I'm going to be giving you guys another tutorial. This time it's going to be on how to set up a snapshot server. So we're going to be using the latest Minecraft snapshot and setting up a server. And it's basically the same as setting up any other Minecraft server. And uh, this should work for any future snapshots. So uh, once again, if you guys uh, don't know how to host a normal Minecraft server, I have a video on my channel. Um, Plus, I have a bunch of other videos on my channel explaining how to configure the server, uh, how to basically change all the settings and server properties, and how to join your server, port forwarding. It's all there. So I have a playlist. I'll actually link it up in the top right right now for you guys. Um, but yeah, so other than that, uh, if anything I do helps you guys out in any way, please drop a like, leave a comment, letting me know what you think of my videos. And I'm also looking for other content uh, to start doing. Um, I would like to maybe do some let's plays or something other than just tutorial content so let me know what you guys want to see. I do play quite a bit on 2B2T as well so if you guys would like to see any 2B2T gameplay let me know in the comments we might be able to make that happen. Um, but yeah definitely subscribe for future videos so let's just get right into it. So normally what we need to do first is uh, grab the Minecraft server jar. Um, but we're going to do that a different way. Normally we would go out to minecraft.net and get it from their website, but we can actually get it straight from the Minecraft launcher this time. So open up the Minecraft launcher, you're going to have to sign in, and uh, what you're going to want to do is click on installations right here, and you're going to want to make sure up here where it says versions, you have snapshots checked. So that'll allow you to basically see and play all the snapshots in the game. So what we want to do is we'll make a new profile, and we're just going to call this uh, Snapshot Tutorial. And we're going to put it on the latest snapshot, which is 20W08A. And we will click, uh, sure, we'll just use default directory, and we'll create it. All right. So now that we have this, we can click on it. Right, basically, we could have done this before, too, but I like to save it first. But you want to click on this right here this little link that says server with the arrow download if you click on that it's gonna link you out uh, to your web browser it looks like for me it's Microsoft Edge um, and it should download the jar file from their website for you so let's uh, let it do its thing all right and you can see that we have it right here what do we want to do with it we want to save it we're just going to stick it right on our desktop. VM seems to be a little slow today. There we go. All right, so we'll go to the desktop, and we're just going to leave it server.jar, and we're just going to save it there. So now you can see over here we have our server jar on our desktop, and this is the snapshot server jar. So we don't need the web browser anymore. We can close that out. Apparently, it doesn't know if it's done downloading, but it is. So, we have it right there. Alright, so now we need to make uh, a, basically a folder for us to work out of. We're going to set up uh, just a working directory. So, I'm going to name it. I'm just going to name it Snapshot Server. Then we'll just drag our jar into the Snapshot Server uh, folder that we just created. And now we're into familiar territory. Now we have a jar and an empty folder. So we're going to make our batch file. So we're going to make a new text document. All right, I'm going to edit that text document. And I'm going to type in Java tech jar. Oh, actually, I'm going to do my memory first. X, M, X. And I'm just going to initialize it with 2 gigs. So 2048 M. And then uh, X, M, S. 2048M and then we can do tech jar because that's going to be for a jar file and then our jar file is called server.jar and then we don't want the GUI for Minecraft to work so we'll put no GUI at the end and then we'll put a pause that that'll just help us for debugging and then we'll save and now we have our jar, jar file now we have to save this as and what you want to do is change the save as type right here change this to all files and then you want to up on the file name right here you want to backspace the dot txt and change that to dot bat 
and instead of new text document, we'll just call it start. So now we can close out of the text document that we have open and you can see we have a start.bat, a server.jar, and our new text document we started with. We no longer need the text document. We only needed that so that we can make the start.bat. So I just deleted that. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can start the server up for the first time by running, uh, double clicking our batch file right here. So it's gonna, it should come up with an error telling us uh, that we need to accept the end user license agreement. Um, it might just take a second to get that far. There we go. You can see failed to load eula.txt. Uh, press any key to continue. Uh, it's nice when you add that pause at the end of your batch file because then it'll always say press any key to continue. So it'll put the pause here and it'll let you go up and read what the server exited on. So the server will exit and then your window will stay open so that you can read what was there. If you didn't have the pause, the window would just close and you'd never really get to read this. It's just nice to be able to read it. So I always put the pause at the end and I'd recommend doing that as well. Um, so we're going to press any key to continue and then we're going to go in and this is familiar, hopefully for you guys. Uh, we're gonna edit the end user license agreement text file and change uh, false to true. And then we're gonna save it and then we can run our server up again. And we'll just wait for it. Uh, it might take a second. It's gonna generate the uh, spawn region and all that. And uh, yeah, at that, after it says done, Everything should be good. You should be ready to join, and I'll actually show you guys that it works with a different client. So when this is done, we'll go ahead and try and join. All right, so it's done. So we're going to hop over into our Minecraft client, and uh, we're going to try and join. All right, you can see uh, we have our Minecraft client loaded up now, and we are indeed on Minecraft snapshot 20w08a which is the same version that our server is running so let's try and get on the server now multiplayer and we'll direct connect and uh, since i'm running it on a different computer in my house i have to type in the internal ip address of that computer everyone seems to get confused on how you're supposed to join your minecraft server i've made another video about it i'll put the link right up here um so that you guys can go watch that in more depth. It'll give you more information on the three different ways to join your Minecraft server, and you have to use a specific one depending on who you are trying to connect. Okay, so zero isn't gonna work for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the IP address of the computer in my house. So the internal IP address of the computer that the server is running on, and the IP address of that computer is 10.0.0.204. That is not my external IP address. That number right there is not going to let anybody else on the internet connect to me. It's only going to let people on my LAN or my local area network join. So if you guys are confused about that, go watch my video and it will explain it all in depth. So we're going to join the server and you can see it's logging in and joining the world. And here we go. We are on our Minecraft one point. Uh, 16 snapshot server well there you have it it's how to make a minecraft snapshot server if this video helped you at any point be sure to drop a like and subscribe for future videos and make sure to comment giving me ideas for what to do in future videos because I'm looking for more tutorial ideas plus any other type of content that you guys might want to see from me and uh, yeah that's gonna be it for this video I uh, appreciate you guys uh, watching and uh, thank you for 3,500 subscribers uh, going strong. I'm going to keep doing this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.